Well, another day and another old music centre. Those were the days, weren't they? Uh, this one is an old Ferguson Studio 20D and is in remarkably clean and good condition. The turntable, however, was completely seized up. The usual uh, BSR ailment of old grease and uh, neglect. But uh, that didn't take too much getting going. But what about the cassette player and recorder? Well, these are quite good mechanisms as they go. But one thing that uh, does happen in the end is failure of rubber parts. And this is the pinch roller, which holds the tape down against the driving capstan here. That little spindle up there. Now this has gone hard over time and that causes a condition called uh, tape creep where the tape can ride up and down as well as being pulled past the uh, heads and then you'll get the crinkly tape and yes that's one of the reasons why cassette players sometimes add tapes but all is not lost. It shows you how over-engineered things were then. This was made to last, you know, a lifetime in effect. You've got the rubber tyre, a brass boss, and then in the middle of that, a centre bronze bearing. <laughs> you don't get that anymore. So what we're doing is to replace it with a new pinch roller. This one is a little bit, uh, the tyre is a little bit wider and it's brand new so uh, we hope that that will cure any uh, tendency it would have had to uh, make the tape creep. The other thing that goes of course is the driving belts. These stretch or sometimes perish or get dry over time and uh, though sometimes the set will play quite happily. If you try and put it into fast forward or rewind, it's in a higher gear. So just like a dodgy clutch on a car, it will slip and it's noticeable towards the end of the tape. It may just grind to a halt while the motor spins merrily away. So uh, new belts, new pinch roller, um, lubricate sparingly, here and there and grease. A lot of these things it says the driving mechanism should not be lubricated and all this sort of thing but keep in mind that this is a 40 year old piece of equipment and uh, yeah you know it needs a little bit of TLC after all these years and somehow I can't see today's stuff lasting as long or being uh, this easy to get going again in the future but uh, there you are a lot of these old music centers they do have auxiliary inputs so you know you can play your uh, more modern devices through them quite happily and the sound is much better than you get through your modern device especially if the set's got uh, two-way speakers or whatever and so they are usually of decent dish quality, if not very good. And uh, it's streets ahead of today's crap of owns. There's no two ways about it. The metal chassis on which this mechanism is built, and just to mention one thing, is roughly, I should think, twice as heavy gauge as the bean can stuff you get in a crapper phone, uh, if not three times the gauge. The heads are both in perfect order, uh, no sign of any wear at all. I think this is quite a low mileage set as they go. So uh, yeah, onwards and upwards and see you soon. Haven't been able to uh, reply to anybody recently and I don't know why. Hmm, bloody YouTube. <laughs> See you soon.